God. Oh, that's sick. How long have you been married? 14 years. And no children? No. What's wrong? What's the problem? What time did you get off of work? Just, just, who, who was at the party? It was, it was, Whose party was it? It, it was a colleague. Who were some of the colleagues? Joe, uh, uh, Michael. Where did you go? I, I, were you I, drinking? Where'd you go after the I party? Had, how much did you drink? I, I was, do you drink at all? What do you do for a living? I'm a doctor, you should know that. What do you do that. for fun? What? Well, I don't have to answer these questions. Yes, you do. I would. Because if you're innocent, you'll answer the questions. What do you got to hide? Listen, my wife is dead. Yeah? Well, this is ridiculous. Do you wear sleep pants? I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, Scott seems to know. I don't know who this Scott is. Well, well he's got your pants. I, I, you're... Yeah. You better call him up, ask him if he's got your pants. I don't know what you're talking Look about. Look at me. Say Alice. You ever hear Say Alice? You know, 14 hours, 13 hours, whatever. What, what kind of questions are these? They're legitimate questions. Your wife was a stay-at-home wife. Yes. His wife was more than that. You and I both know it. I think you're scum. You're a degenerate. Mr. McCleary, do you have any change? I need to use the phone. I want you out of here. Please, I'll give you ten dollars for a dime. Better yet, I'll give you I'll give you twenty. If you please, just let me use that phone. I'm calling the police now. No, no, no! Wait, wait. Can I just make one phone call first? Get out. Righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. You are with me. Your rod and your staff may comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. What do you think you're doing? What are you talking about? Why do you call her a friend? You think I'm blind? You think I'm stupid? I don't care what you think. We just buried my mother. You don't know anything about my life. You should have just a little bit of respect for mom right now. I respect mom, but you don't respect me. You're gonna come and tell me what to do with the rest of my life? I'm not telling you what to do with the rest of your life. I'm telling you not to go. Ben, as the Secretary of State, I want your opinion on this. How bad is it? About an hour ago, Tel Aviv was struck by a number of Iranian missiles. It appears to be a large number of civilian casualties. Any death numbers? Not so far. Any Americans? There'll be a substantial number, sir. What if we go up north to the snow? I've always liked the snow, Sarah. My name is Beth, Dad. You named me Elizabeth. Oh, your mother named you that. I, I never liked it. It's my name. It's a name that I'm proud of. I, I, I don't want to talk about this. You, ne you never want to talk you about You know, I was never around during your formative years. You know why? Your mother would never let me. My mother forgave you even after you hurt us. Don't you think that was a lot for her to do? Oh, that's the past. I don't want to talk about the past. <clears throat> so, uh, Greg, uh, what, do you, what do you do for a living? I'm a bitch for corporate America. Greg. Well, I, 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 I guess I know how you feel, but um, with what you do, is there any opportunity to move up in the world? No, it's a dead-end job. It probably won't go anywhere. What are your intentions uh, for my little girl here? People still ask this. Sorry. 
All right, all right, I get it, I get it. No more questions. You gotta be concerned though. You know, she's always gonna be my little girl. Come on, Dad. Oh, I understand. If I were to ever have a daughter, her first date would go something like this. I have a shotgun hung up on the wall and I tell the kid, she leaves a virgin, she returns the same. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my kind of guy. 